Cosmodor. That's right. Inksmith is here today to cover the artist known as Cosmodor. Well, Cosmodor was a cartoon reviewer and YouTuber who was rising to fame with his videos. And most of his stuff covered not just doing his own artwork, but covering other cartoons from his past in a bit of a retro or nostalgic way, kind of like Saber Spark does. But just, just, just to be fair, Saber Spark has nothing to do with this. I'm using his as example, as a comparison. Don't worry. He's, he's totally in the clear. Great guy. I actually really like his videos. But Cosmodor has a bit of a shady past because it came out that while he was doing these cartoon reviews and retro uh, reactions and his own artwork that he had been grooming a girl who was 14 years old at the time, despite him being 20 at the time. Now, he would also stalk her and be extremely emotionally abusive to her, exploiting her artistic talent and underpaying her, all kind of the worst venial sins of an artist, taking not only advantage of her age and stalking and grooming her, but not even paying her correctly when it comes to her own hard work. After it came out that Cosmo was a groomer, Multiple former friends made twit longers about he was emotionally abusive to them and his history of being manipulative. And his former friends, such as Saber Spark, hence I mentioned him earlier, Pi Guy Rules, and LS Mark all cut ties with him. Good job, guys. This is the time that I'm glad to see and want to give a shout out to those guys for cutting off someone who is not only destructive but abusive to the YouTube community as a whole. This needs to be done more where people completely split ties to anybody ruining not just people but the careers, the artwork, and the emotional and mental health of their own viewers. They need to go out on their own and find help and get well and not come back to the internet where they can continue their stalking and grooming. The victim, Pastelloween, was a friend of Nani. Nani is another artist on the YouTube sphere who is also within the art community making her own stuff. And Pastelloween made a video. Despite admitting that he was guilty, Cosmo's fans attacked the victim instead to the point that she had to leave the internet, which is horrible. See, this is what really disgusts me. When someone is finally called out, instead of listening to the victim and hearing them out and giving things time to develop, even when I heard someone like Angry Joe was accused, I wanted to give both sides time and not try and attack his accuser. I wanted to listen to see what Joe had to say and what kind of charges the victim was supposedly going to press. In that case, nothing came out and it was found out that the victim was lying. But in this case, we cannot assume anybody is lying until we hear both sides and Cosmo makes a rebuttal. In which case, he even came out saying that he was guilty of doing this, yet they still attacked his victim instead of him. They attacked her so much, like I said, she left the internet and even attacked Nani, who was also connected to this, when she commented under Cosmo's apology, mocking the fact that she was a furry. Like, as if that means anything. What's worse, someone being a furry or someone being a disgusting groomer? Uh, I would say groomers are an actual sin, an actual crime. Being a furry is not. Cosmo himself messaged Nani in an attempt to make her feel sorry for him. When the victim came out about the extent of Cosmo's abuse, she was supportive of her. When Cosmo attempted to make two comebacks in 2021, she made a new and very informative video letting people know about him. Nani was also a huge fan of Creepshow art and stated that Creepshow art had changed her life. However, after it came out that she had been slandering her friends and harassing people, that is, Creepshow Art has been doing that, and also blackmailing Emily Artful to the point that she was considering suicide, she left the comment under her latest video saying, if any part of you is a person who helped me in the past, if any part of you is a nice person who helped, then you should stop doing this. This was something that people used against Nani when she did speak about Cosmodor, that she had been connected to Creepshow Art, but it really 
doesn't matter. Whether or not she was a friend with Creepshow Art in the past does not take away the fact that Cosmodor was a disgusting creep who stalked and preyed on girls. Now, when he was accused of stuff like this, when he was shown to be a groomer and a stalker of this young 14-year-old fan who was doing some of his artwork for him, instead of just coming forward and saying, I'm wrong, what I've done is horrible. He came forward, admitted what he had done, but instead of apologizing and coming out and saying, I need to leave the internet and get help, he decided instead to say, well, you got to understand that in my country where I live, Germany, the age of consent is very different from your country. But what he failed to mention was that the girl he was preying upon was 14 and in America. And in America, 14 is not an age in which you can get into any sort of legal statutory rape and or marriage and or relationship. So he was breaking the law within the country of the person that he was stalking, which would still make him guilty and actually could even have him extradited should she want to press charges. 2021 would be the last time we would hear anything from Cosmodor. The last community post that he made shed a bit more light on the matter that he had gone through and put the girl through that was the victim in this matter. Basically, when he was 20, he dated a 15-year-old girl online. They never met personally, and Cosmodor also claims that no sexual things happened apart from sharing some Rule 34s as a joke, something he said he thought was just a joke and really had no sexual connotation whatsoever, which, unless you're brain dead, you know that totally isn't true. Once he hit 21, he began to realize how big the age gap was, but yet he convinced himself that it would be even out as they both got older, saying that, of course, when he turned about 27, she would be 22, which wasn't such a big deal. Yeah, I get it. I understand what he's saying. It doesn't make any sense, though, because no matter what, she's still of a mind that is not an adult one, which means her brain has not fully formed. The only thing she may realize when she turns 22 is that she had been groomed. The conflict inside of him caused them to get defensive and toxic to the girl he was dating, which later caused the girl to break up with him. So he eventually ended up blaming her for what he had done, making him an even worse person. Apparently that conflict caused him to not be in a quote-unquote good mindset lately. And the hiatus serves as him trying to get back on track and improve as a person but also get himself into a better state of mind. Is there a possibility of a better state of mind for Cosmodor? Yeah, you know what? Maybe if he goes and he gets help and he has some sort of mental counseling that lets him know how evil the stuff he has done is, or maybe if he even turns himself in and admits to what he's done, I don't foresee that happening. And I don't think there's any room for someone like this and a predator like this to come back to the internet and be trusted again with viewers who will continue to remain young and possibly groomed and victimized by this monster. With that said, Cosmodor remains another note in the YouTube community of someone who abused, groomed, and stalked their own viewers and pretty much used YouTube for the worst thing they possibly could. Why does this keep happening? People always ask me this. Why does this keep happening? And I've talked about this before. The whole effect of getting this ego that thinks that you can do anything at once with anyone who is watching their stuff. On top of it, I think a lot of times cartoon and or uh, sort of artistic stuff can bring a younger audience in and while that's great and I'm open-minded to that and I know I probably have some younger fans myself or even below the age of 18 I do realize that YouTube is something that is more of a pastime for a high school age community because they have more free time to watch the media that does not mean that we have any sort of right to talk to them in any sort of way that is abusive manipulative grooming or anything like that. We do need to realize that at times our audience is very young and still maturing mentally. They may not even understand if they do reach out in any sort of romantic way, just how wrong that is. And we, being the adults who create this stuff, need to be the ones who step up, take notice, take charge, and let them know, don't do this. Don't reach out like this. Let them know that this is a community that is about hobbies, that is about media and entertainment, and that's about it. There is no relationship that is safe and or good for an adult to be dating a young high school or however age, junior high school age child, which I think 15 or 14 is within that range. There is no good excuse for that. And we as people within the community need to take charge of ourselves to make sure we're responsible with that and also look out for the younger crowd and make sure 
we stop them from being hunted by people like Cosmodor. What do you guys think about this? Did you watch Cosmodor's videos? I watched some of them from the past. I wasn't a massive fan. I did follow his sort of community as well as SaberSpark. And I got to throw a big good on you out there to those guys who kind of left him and did not continue with trying to defend or be friends with someone who would do such despicable things. I'd love to hear, though, what your comments and ideas are on this situation down below. Until next time, I've been the Inksmith. I hope you have a great rest of the day.